It's Claire from Paysetter at Home and today I'm going to read you a story. I'm going to read Little by Little by Amber Stewart and Lane Marlowe. Scramble was making a list, a can-do and a can't-do list. The can-do side was much longer than the can't-do side. On it was forward roly-poly, backward roly-poly, being kind to frogs, mud sliding, making very good sandcastles and slippery rock hopping. The can't do side was much shorter. It just said swimming. Who ever heard of an otter who can't swim? asked Beaver. What? Not at all, said Bear. Not even a little. At your age, all your friends can swim. Whatever next? Well, obviously being kind to otters is not on Bear and Beaver's can-do list, said Mummy crossly when Scramble told her. Sometimes Scramble would pretend he could swim, but really he was hopping very, very quickly along the riverbed. Other times he would run along the riverbank, trying not to be left behind by his friends as they spun and tumbled through the water. But most days Scramble would simply sit on his favourite slippery rock, wishing and wishing from his whiskers all the way down to his toes that he could swim. Every day his mummy would say, today's the day you're going to crack it. And every day it wasn't. Then one sunny Monday, Scramble and his sister were watching their friends, jumping off the highest ever rock into the deepest ever pool below. You've got to start small, his sister said. Small? said Scramble. Yes, small, she said. Come on, today really is the day to start small. Believe it, little brother. Starting small turns can't do into can do. So on that Monday, Scramble started small. He hopped along the riverbed, keeping his toes off the bottom, just that little bit longer every time. On Tuesday, he did higher hops and floating with holding on in between. On Wednesday, Scramble did floating with no holding on. And on Thursday, he did a little kicking and then a lot of kicking to the halfway stone. On Friday, Scramble splashed and kicked and swam the whole width of the river, from one bank to the other, all by himself. And very soon, over Saturday and Sunday really, that width became the length of the river from Scramble's rock to the deepest ever pool. Then the splashing and kicking turned into gliding and the roly polies on the riverbank became underwater tumbling. And on Sunday evening, with all his friends and family gathered along the riverbank to cheer him on, Scramble jumped off the highest ever rock into the deepest ever pool. I did it, said Scramble to his sister. I really can swim. You really can, laughed his sister, hugging her very wet little brother. You see, you started small and finished big. I hope you enjoyed that story today. And remember, if there's ever anything that you feel like you can't do, start small, little steps. And particularly at the moment, just take one day at a time. I hope you enjoyed that story. Take care and see you soon. Bye.